2021 Supreme ZS212 sitting in onyx black and brilliant sky blue metal flake. Really like how this one turned out. Crazy angles on the ZS, body lines, gel lines. Gives this thing a really unique look. It's a nice look at that uh, sky blue metal flake. Super sharp, looks great in the sun. And this thing's gonna look really cool on the water. This 212 sitting on a Onyx Black Tandem Axle Extreme trailer. Heavy duty jack, swing tongue, did the transom steps and tie down straps. We have a Roswell Tower in black, which is equipped with the Supreme Factory Bimini with surf pockets. We have Roswell rotating board racks and a pair of Wet Sounds Rev 10 tower speakers up there as part of the, uh, the Champ audio package which comes with that subwoofer and um, upgraded interior speakers. Um, the ZS is a deep boat. Aggressive deep V, tapered V if you will, from that um, this new hull design from Supreme. Gives it an extremely soft ride carries an immense amount of ballast um, right at about 4600 pounds and also has quite a bit of storage space i mean the 212 comes in at 21 foot 2 inches and this deep setting or setup is going to allow for a lot of room for gear in a 21 foot boat We've got our black on black um, chromex decals This thing looks super sharp. One of my favorite touches, which we'll see more of on the interior, is this two-tone gator step that we've done throughout. So let me hop up inside before I talk too much about that. And before I do, this is equipped with the wake plate and quick surf. You'll see there's a wash down in the back because this is a closed cooled motor now. It does have the six liter, 409, foot pounds of torque PCM engine and we've done a silver white and black color combination on the interior vinyl I like this interior a ton I think it's really really clean looking it pops with the the blacks around on the interior deck and the gator step and what I was getting at with the gator step is we've done a two-tone black and what they call Atlantis blue on the under layer. So we didn't do any blue vinyl, but we've got a little bit of color pulled into the interior with this, this gator step. It looks awesome. I'm a huge fan. It matches the, um, the sky blue metal flake really well and just pulls a little bit of color into this, what otherwise would be a monochromatic kind of um, neutral color interior. Back sun pad is huge on the ZS. Tons of space to kind of sprawl out and hang. Our back corners here are going to have these storage containers slash coolers that do, they do have a drain. So you can load these up with drinks or just simply put your ropes, whatever you want in there. We do have the pop-up ski pylon and let's hop inside this ZS is equipped with all available factory ballast so you have a hard tank in each corner underneath those coolers next to the engine we have the plug-and-play surf bags and then continuing up into the bow to about here on either side are the quick fill tanks in the hull, molded into the hull, which is gonna carry the majority of the ballast in this boat. And then we have a belly bag and nose bag in this 212. Mackin surf waves. Now, while we're back here, 
you're gonna see there's quite a bit of room from the top to the uh, top of the motor and you're able to store surfboards across the top of the motor from side to side in this boat which is very unique uh, you can stack a couple of them in there those bags can fill and rise up without damaging your surfboards I'd say you can probably fit two or three in there depending on the thickness of your board but uh, again this does have that six liter engine 409 horsepower closed cooled still pulls water for the heat exchanger and V drive and then across the back are all those ballast pumps that fill all that weight in the boat close this thing up real quick there we go perco locks on your storage compartments you do have the cover under there you might have seen that it's a full cover with the hang tight system nice wraparound seating on the interior of the 212 um, we do have the the pop-in lean back on the port side They've wrapped the full interior deck in, in gator step. Black interior deck looks amazing, but it is easy to scratch, so it's really cool that they give you a little protection around the interior of the boat. Um, storage compartments on either side have a tough coat lining, so um, no carpet in there. Storage kind of continues backwards and up into the front. Check out this tower. It's the same tower for 2020 as it is in 2021. Those big wet sounds, rev tens, the horn, those things carry really well across the water. Rotating board racks over here. Um, this is a forward folding tower and it does have a single cam latch on either side before you can fold it down. And we have the factory bimini on here. Covers pretty much the entire main seating area of the boat. But when you're stepping down, there's enough space here to where you're really not going to smoke your head on anything, which is nice. And then this tower is super tall. Speakers are out to the side. A lot of headroom. Um, flipping open the OB, we have our batteries and our... Uh, Amplifiers are what sounds amps, battery switch. There's a drop-in cooler under the seat here. Got our ropes and life jackets and things in there. Glove box, they've added some gator stuff on there. There's your tower folding tool, charging ports, music hookups, all the goodies, spare keys. They've done the gator step across here. So if you throw your phone or something up there, it's not going to slide around. Making our way over to the helm. You'll notice we've done a new steering wheel for 2021. Nice big driver's seat, super comfy. Bolsters up. You can slide and swivel the seat for adjustment. And our dash. Let's sit down here. We have the phone holder right here. Across the top. Got our switches for lighting, bilge, blower, a couple open accessory switches. But our C Touch dash has changed a little bit for this year. It's the same hardware, same, very similar layout if you've been in 2020 boats. It's gonna feel like home. But you have your speed adjustment, you've got your um, surf adjustments, ballast. This one is not set up with the maps, but you could add that. Um, but new is the stereo. No more head unit, as you can see. Nothing in the glove box, nothing over here. Everything is through the screen, which I'm a huge fan of. We've got Bluetooth, AM, FM. If you plug a phone into USB, it'll take over, and there's a weather band on here. And it also has zone control, so tower, sub. If you're out at night and you don't want to be blaring your tunes across the lake, you can uh, mute the tower speakers, for example. And then say you're on your home screen with your speed control, you've always got volume adjustment right here in the top corner. And you can kind of either slide or kind of click to where you want the volume to go. Or do a quick mute if you want to talk to somebody in the water. So, um, big improvement there. 
And of course, my favorite are the Rider presets. Comes loaded in with a couple factory surf settings, but you can go in and create your own and customize it. Uh, speed, tab settings, um, ballast settings, everything. This makes the boat so much easier to set up, and that's something unique that a lot of boats in this segment don't have. And it just makes for a lot easier use out on the water. Still have analog tack and speed over on the right horn. Down here, you're gonna see docking lights, which this boat does have. You can see those flashing up front. And then we have the heater. So heater outlet down here, um, and then one back behind the driver's seat. And then one in the walkthrough. Speaking of climate uh, features, we do have the air dam that slides into the bow. This has the big mirror option on it, on the shorter kind of cutoff windshield. And then heading up into the bow, tons of room up here. Pickle fork, really square shape. Two or three people can be up here and spread out pretty comfortably. The ZS, again, being a deep boat, you've got these nice tall sidewalls, especially in the bow, that's nice. Um, makes it harder to dunk the nose. It also makes everybody sitting up here feel a lot more secure. We do have access to storage from the front. If we open up our seat here, you're going to see that bow ballast is on. The bow filler cushion turns it all into a nice big kind of playpen seating area. And you'll see up front, it says two people maximum to the bow. Forget that I said three. But pretty much covers the features on this 212. Um, awesome boat. Tons of room for a 21 footer, a lot of storage, and throws a killer wake and wave. Call us at N3 Boatworks, 317 845 9253. If you have any questions about this ZS212, thanks for watching.